just uh, learned from our colleagues at NBC News, they are reporting from their sources that the president has asked Speaker Paul Ryan and House leadership to pull the bill, and that is expected to be the announcement at the Republican conference. It hasn't started or it's getting underway momentarily. It's 3.36 p.m. and you just saw that the speaker has scheduled a 4 p.m. press conference, although as we've learned this week, all scheduling on the Hill is fluid. But that would mean that they're not going to be deliberating for much time at this Republican conference meeting. So the expectation is that it will be a relatively quick turnaround. The speaker will then give some remarks and NBC News reporting that the president has asked the speaker of the house to pull the health care bill. All right, Kayla, let me bring John back in. So now what? What happens now, John? Well, first of all, uh, the administration has been clear they want to get to other items on their agenda. It's also clear that Republicans are more unified around some elements of the rest of that agenda, including the issue of tax reform. Uh, the uh, Last night, Mick Mulvaney, the budget director, went up on the Hill and said, uh, we're going to be done with this uh, after tomorrow, and we're going to move on if, if we don't get this. Well, they're not getting it. Uh, and Mitch McConnell, the Senate Republican leader, has also indicated he did not want to linger on this priority. Uh, right. Sean Spicer repeated that again today. So what I would expect is that, you know, at some point they're going to have to come back and deal with health care for the simple right. reason that they've said over and over uh, there are a lot of problems with it as it's now being uh, run, and they're going to have to also right. measure the backlash from their constituents. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.